Good afternoon everyone. My name is Shelby and I'm a psychic medium. Um, today I want to talk about something that I get asked a lot by my friends and clients and that is how do I figure out what my spiritual job is? That's an excellent question. Unfortunately, this is something that we have to figure out on our own. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some suggestions on things you can do to start helping yourself figure out um, what your spiritual job is. Um, that way you can get started at least in the right direction. When I first um, came out fully and started using my abilities about four years ago, um, I felt the same way. I felt like I didn't know where to start. I wanted to know everything at once. Um, you just you, you get so excited you just don't know where to start so here's some tips number one find the things that you're drawn to study and study those because that's your soul's way of trying to help you remember what you're supposed to be doing um, a lot of times we've got an idea of what we want to do um, and some of this is trial and error um, you know, like for instance, myself, I know that I'm supposed to be teaching other psychics. I know this is part of my job. I know I'm supposed to be helping people, um, you know, through the awakening process and through ascensions and stuff like that. Um, but what I didn't know was quite how to go about that. Um, so at first I ended up on Facebook where, you know, I made a group. Um, and I did that for a couple of years and I taught that way. Um, but, uh. It, Facebook just wasn't the way to go for me. It just too much politics, too much drama. So uh, long story short, I got off of there and I started to make um, YouTube videos. Um, a lot of my videos are going to be aimed at the awakening psychics. They're going to be aimed at helping you learn your abilities. I think a lot of times we overthink being a psychic. It's not as complicated as you think. There's nothing different about you than there ever was even when you figure it out. The only thing that's different is uh, your knowledge and and feeling comfortable in your own skin and what you're saying, um, you know, which takes some time. So be easy on yourself about that stuff. It's a process. It's not like you're just going to wake up one day and everything's going to click together. It takes a while. Um, think about what you've always wanted to do. Think about things maybe in your life that had you know that you've went through um, a lot of this is the stuff that I try to cover um, to help other psychics um, you can do that um, you can do a variety of different things um, just study what your soul, what really what your soul feels like that you should be okay follow that gut instinct um, and then practicing you know at first before I started doing readings on other people I practiced on my friends and family um, I practiced reading dead pictures you know people who had already crossed over or passed on um, things like that and then uh, you know I'd, I'd get a family member or friend to do it and then I'd have them validate me afterward and tell me how much I got right stuff like that the more you use your abilities the stronger that you know they're gonna get um, don't be too hard on yourself um, most psychics have quite a few abilities not just one so you're gonna find that while you're awakening you're gonna be awakening many abilities so you may start out wanting to do one thing and end up feeling the need to do another and that's okay um, just keep following your soul keep following your guides you know the, the one they give you those gut instincts on yeah this is right you should do this and really follow that and try again not to be so hard on yourself maybe write a list get a paper and pen and write down a list of things that you would like to do you know psychics naturally want to help in so many different ways they want to heal they want to help they want to there's always some kind of special thing that you probably went through in your childhood or in your past that's a passion of yours now and really that's that's why we have went through that experience in the first place is because we're supposed to be helping people with these issues um, again don't be hard on yourself um, there's no rush to learn everything start with one thing at a time it will come to you 
I promise. Um, just one day at a time. You know, a lot of times I will go to my, I have a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of my best friends are other psychics. Sometimes you can bounce ideas off of other psychics. Um, that's one way, you know, you can do it. Um, it it's, it's just a process. So I encourage you to not get yourself overwhelmed. Pick one or two things at a time to study. And it will happen when it's supposed to happen because I promise you, you're exactly where you're supposed to be at this time. I hope this video helps and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Love you.